All right, what's up you guys? So today's video is gonna be about quackery and the supplement industry. Okay, so what is quackery? So quackery is when like a supplement company um, promise you these results if you take the supplement, but then there's actually, it doesn't work. You know, they just say, um, take this supplement and you're gonna lose 20 pounds. Okay, that is quackery. They are just telling you these lies for you to purchase their supplement. Okay, so today's topic is going to be about whether you should take glucosamine and chondroitin um, to prevent inflammation um, or osteoarthritis. All right, so usually people purchase glucosamine and chondroitin um, to prevent um, any, any inflammation between the bones. Okay, so it's believed that glucosamine um, builds the cartilage between your bones. Okay, so the cartilage is pretty much, you could think about it like a pillow between your bones. Okay, so every time you're walking and your, your bones are kind of like with the impact, that little pillow prevents your bones from hitting each other. Okay, so over time, your cartilage breaks down and, and it, as it starts breaking down, your bones start hitting each other and it causes inflammation. Okay, so people purchase glucosamine to build the cartilage and they also um, purchase chondroitin which is believed to hydrate the cartilage and make, make it more flexible and also prevent some enzymes from breaking down the cartilage. All right, so I have a supplement here. Um, I have it at my house. Um, and this one has glucosamine and chondroitin combined. So you could buy it separately, but this one I have it combined, okay? So here that just shows the picture how it's supposed to um, prevent inflammation around the knee. So it's very common that people get inflammation around the knee, um, but it could just be anywhere, your low back, um, your elbows. So the question is, should you be taking glucosamine and chondroitin as a supplement? Well, first let me tell you about the studies. So there was some studies um, that show positive results saying that it works. And then there's some studies that show that there was no difference between the people that did not take the glucosamine and the chondroitin and people that, that took the, the supplement, okay? So there are more studies um, that show no results, that they were structured better. So it is easier to believe that it doesn't help. So one of the studies, um, they gave a, a sample of people, they gave them the glucosamine. Another sample, they gave them the chondroitin. And then a, a third sample, they gave a combination of glucosamine and chondroitin. And then there was another one that gave them a specific drug that, um, that help with the inflammation. And then there was a placebo, which is they didn't give that person nothing. It was just like a fake pill, okay? So at the end of the study, there, there was no difference between all the samples, except a minor, a, a minor difference on the one that actually took the drug um, prevent inflammation. But between the glucosamine, the chondroitin, and the, and the glucosamine and chondroitin combined, there was no difference. There was one study um, that showed that if you are gonna choose to take a glucosamine supplement, that you should choose the one that's glucosamine sulfate. There are so many ways that, that supplements are sold. Um, there's like this one. This one here that I have, um, if you read the, the back, it says glucosamine hydrochloride. So um, it, it showed on the study that taking the hydrochloride glucosamine wasn't as beneficial as taking the glucosamine sulfate. So the study did say that if you decide to take the supplement, take the sulfate one on um, glucosamine sulfate, and then also for the chondroitin. If you're gonna decide to take um, the chondroitin, take chondroitin sulfate. There was another study um, that was done on animals and it did show that taking the glucosamine and the chondroitin um, made the, the animals more um, insulin sensitive. So if a person, um, it, it didn't show in, in, in human studies, just in animal studies, but um, they do make a, a, they want us to be aware that if there's any diabetic people, um, that they should um, really be careful in taking those supplements because they might make them more insulin sensitive. So after looking at the results and the radiographs, they didn't show no difference in the samples, especially with chondroitin. So um, all the studies um, just say that exclude chondroitin completely. To summarize the video, glucosamine might be helpful, chondroitin excluded completely, and that's it. All right, you guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video. Hope you like it. Hope you find these tips useful. If you like the video, please press that like button at the bottom. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.